Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I am going to work on my mixed media um, houses. So I've been, I don't know if any of you guys do this when you're out, especially going to doctor's offices and everything else. I always carry, uh, you know, I, I, it's like a journal, but I draw and do all that in it. And I have to say, I've been trying to uh, learn how to do stencils because I want to make um, different stencils. But somebody had asked me, what do I take in my purse to draw? And there, you can take, I mean, this is just a, I got this, I think, at Barnes & Noble. It's just a journal with paper because I love to write and, and write things down. But you can use uh, the mixed media Strathmore and, um, oh, who's the blue one? I can't think of it. Canson, I believe. They all have uh, great, you can buy them in, in different sizes. You don't always have to buy the big ones. So um, I wanted to show. That's what that's what I use. I take it with me. Sometimes it's small sketchbooks. A lot of you have gifted me a lot of um, great little uh, notebooks and sketchbooks. And I probably have three or four of them in my purse. So that's what I do. Uh, I have the camera back this way. I did do a video and try to flip it, but in... Unless you guys know a way in the YouTube editor to flip it, I'm going to have to uh, do it on my uh, movie maker. So I just put it up the way it was. I just don't have the patience today. Um, but, you know, that's why I'm going to do this and then I'll turn it around and all that. But uh, I got to upload it in my movie maker and I didn't do it. So we're on here and we're using the... Uh, water soluble pencils. Again, you can use, you know, whatever you have. So I've been looking at my houses and, and thinking, and I really don't like that we have two, uh, two houses here, but I really like this tall thin one. So I'm going to take the other one off. Now, if you're using, I'm going to, if you're using water soluble, I want to know why this is, was working so good before. I have to hit it. Um, if you're using water soluble, you can definitely go in and re-wet what you used. And I use a little scrubbing motion just to kind of, because it's going to soak into the paper a little bit. And look, it's not even coming up. That's hysterical. It's hysterical. But I can paint over it. And that's why I like doing things on the video, because a lot of people get some of the things that you guys write me, you know, I write you guys back and I'll say, don't get so caught up. Look, mistake. It's not coming up. That's good to know. But I can use it on acrylic paint and it won't come up. It's supposed to, it, it can write on anything, but that is, that's good to know that it's stuck on there. So what do you do? Well, I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to do a little squeeze. And it doesn't matter if it's the same color blue or not because I don't care. And I'm just going to cover the majority of that up. And even as I put this on, it lightens it a bit. But I don't care. It's called mistakes. All right. So while that dries, something else that you can do if, and I did it with the paper and I'm going to, of course, decorate that and get that going. I'm going to work on another house today. If you have great scrapbook paper that you don't want to necessarily throw away or anything like that, like I talked about with this, use that as your house. I'm going to use paint this time, but you can use whatever you want. Um, I love decorating on them. So you know, um, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Now, let me just tell you, because this will not lift up and I put the paint on it and it's coming through, which is, I mean, that's a Stabilo. Um, you know, it writes on plastic and all that kind of thing. So it's going to be, you know, a little stubborn. Maybe I used it. Maybe I sealed it or did something. I don't know. I'm not really going to worry about it. But I might just use paper on there, some scrapbook paper, because oh, I'll use this. And that's just how you fix things that happen that you're like, oh my, what do I do now? 99% of the stuff that I do 
doesn't and oh yeah i love that doesn't end up looking anything like i started and you know sometimes i'll sketch sometimes i won't whether it's fate whatever it is uh and like i said the majority of the time they don't come out like that so that's the paper i'm going to use and i need to find my scissors and all i'm going to do is i need to make it approximately i'm just going to clip it there so i know but i'm going to I'm going to cut some of this out. Very crazy like. Now that's way too big. Or if you don't want it, if you don't think it's too big, then don't make it that big. You know, don't, don't worry about it. I, however, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to do like a thing like that. Let's see. And add that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to grab my I love the Elmer's Extreme Glue Stick. It works great and it's, you know, I don't have to get everything out. And I'm just going to just make sure you get them edges good because they will lift. And if they lift, so what? You just put more glue on it. But I'm just telling you, as a little tip from me to you. All right. So I'm going to put that bad boy there. And I've covered up my mistake. All right. And I like that. I like that with the blue. I dig it. So, um, I forget. I wrote something in here I want to tell you guys about. I totally forgot it. I hate when I do that. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So, I'm going to do that. And then, what are we going to put for the top? Now you can definitely coordinate if you have this here and you want to make this more, I know some people like to be more, um, put together, which I am so not, but you could take this extra bit and you can, you know, cut it into strips or whatever way you want to do it to salvage this and make it that, uh, roof. You know what I mean? And maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I don't know yet, but right now I'm just going to work on this bad boy. But what I want to do is, do I want to paint it? I don't know. I want to do the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Okay. We don't. Everybody. <laughs> what the? Okay. I'm singing to myself. You guys probably don't even know what the hell I'm singing, but I like to sing. All right. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, draw this here. Because this, I want to be, I'm just going to color it in. Maybe you guys can see it. I want this to be shadowed in this um roof that i'm gonna do but i don't want to paint it yet because i kind of want to see where i'm going with it i want to kind of go and give him like a crazy hat in a sense not necessarily a crazy hat but a roof you know a little little something something now what color do we make the roof well i think i'm gonna take some of my ink tents blocks this color and I'm going to go in now the paint's still on there and I don't know how opaque this is going to be but this is just going to be the main of the roof we'll see what this does of course you can use these to draw or do whatever you know to kind of get you works good on the paper I glued down <laughs> Wet this. Oh, it adds a nice little dimension. So if I do colors on it, and remember, ink tents, blocks, ink tents, colored pencils, uh, water soluble pencils are all permanent once they're dry. So they're really fun to work with. He has like a fancy hat. I don't know. I have to do it outlined in dark, but I'm going to leave that dry for a second. And what I'm going to do, and don't be nervous if you're using any type of paper, watercolor, uh, uh, printer paper, whatever you're using, because it will buckle sometimes when you glue it, but it'll dry. And really, it's the point of um, having fun and that kind of thing and not worrying about it buckled a little bit. Because you can always spray the back of it with water and flatten it if you really feel like you need to. Now, I'm going to do a doorway in here. I think I'm going to do orange to pull there's just a little bit of orange here. 
Can I say why not? I'm going to put a little bit here. Got to find my little paintbrush. All right. And I'm going to move it back up this way. And I'm just going to go in. And it's going to take a couple coats because I'm really not... Uh, I should cut this out of my thing here. You know, because it's going to be see it's going to be uh, transparent in a sense where you're going to see underneath. But I like to do two coats, not so much to make it opaque, but there you go. Okay, so we have our little door, and I told you guys. I think I told you guys that uh, my husband's going to hook me up in here, hopefully tomorrow, but definitely this week. So he already told me he knows how he's going to do it. So I don't question. I just say, okay, now I'm going to take this orange and I'm going to run it down here. And I'm not going to worry if it goes off or whatever, because I can always outline it. I want to do a blue door over here, which I'll do in a minute. You hear my chair squeaking. You can probably hear my daughter playing her game or whatever, talking to her friends or whatever. I do. And I'm just wiping that off. I smeared it. Look at that. But it's all right. Because now I'll take my wet brush and kind of scrub it. Scrub it. And then take my paper towel and dab it. And dab it. And look at that. It's it's completely fine. Now I want to do, and I just wanted to add that in. I want to do a blue door. Let me see if I can use my, uh, oh, these are hard to get. I should, yeah, there we go. I want to do a little door here, but I want it to be square. I want it to mimic. Remember you guys can do these with crayons if you're just starting out or you want your kids or grandkids or whomever to do something, you know, something creative, use crayons or crayon markers or whatever you have. I'm using these things because everything's sitting here and uh, I would like to see what I can do with what I have sitting here, but it doesn't mean I won't grab something else. I'm just going to activate that with water and that's going to be my one layer for my door. Yes. All right. So now what am I going to do? I need to make that roof pop. I want it to be a better roof than that. I think I want to bring it down a little bit more. So I think I'm going to use, I love this color. And I'm going to dip in. Let's see how we do. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Make it a little fuller and I'm going to pull from here and kind of bring it this way. And just on that little bit that I got, these are the silk acrylic paints. I love them. I got them at Michael's. Um, you can buy them separate or you could buy them together in a pack. Of course, I bought them with a coupon, but I love them. And I also got some from the company, the Color Soft company, who, who were so generous to me and sent me such great stuff. Quite a few companies have sent me fantastic stuff. I've done a couple of videos of, like, with the polymer clay they've sent me, uh, Vintage. Oh, my gosh, they sent me so much fantastic stuff. Um, I'm just very lucky. Okay, so now I'm going to leave that dry. And I'm going to do the doorknob one here, I think. Ben? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh. Um, I'm going to do the doorknob on here. I'm just going to kind of like make it thick. Okay. And there we go. And then maybe I'll do a window. Just use the chisel of my brush and just touch it. 
and you're just using it as a drawing tool. I mean, you can see how pigmented these are. I'll put some down this way. I haven't even really dipped back in a lot. Oh, how cute, and I can add glitter. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's very exciting. And then again, I'm just gonna run my brush on here. I'm probably gonna, st oh dear, okay. My, our cat that we adopted, oh no. All right, I, uh, okay. He likes to be on my desk. None of my other cats bother. This one, however, let's see if you can see it. Look it. No, 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 don't stop. I usually don't have cats in here. He's so adorable. Okay, we're gonna. Em, can you come grab the cat? I'm recording and everything's what? You got him? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Crisis. We just adopted him maybe a month and a half ago, maybe. My daughter adopted him. He is the sweetest thing, but he loves being up here. And I'm afraid he's going to knock over my paint water or drink out of it, and then I don't want that to happen. All right, so that's that. And now I want to do something here, but i got to make the scribbles here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to find more colors. I know I'm going to take this lovely well used uh, rubber stamp and I'm going to stamp in here to make it have like you know what I'm saying but I'm not doing that yet because I just want to paint figure out this one I want this to be black and white I think with stripes so I'm going to paint it white and then next time I'll do a little I'll do the black stripes instead of the white stripes I'm going to do the black stripes got it yeah all right might be a little bit more of that magenta in there, but that's okay. Or as I like to call it, vampire blood. Blood, blood, blood. And any of the pink that comes out or whatever color it is, it, you know, whatever color you're using and you're doing like this, it's all right if it has a tinge of it in there because you're just going to, it's just going to play off the color that you actually painted with that color if that makes sense and as you can see I'm adding I'm like pushing hard with the brush because I want some texture in there it kind of gives it a uh, spackled kind of look you know what I'm saying so I just kind of do that and then lightly go over it just to kind of push them down and you can still see some of the blue through there and that's all right if you don't want to then just paint over it but you can see that it's starting to dry already and as you drag it, it's going to give it really great texture. Yeah, boy. Awesome. So I want that to be white. And like I said, I'm going to do the black stripes on it once that's dry. Like this is going to make it dry right now. I don't know. And this I want to jazz up a bit, but I don't quite know what I'm going to do. I might trace, I might trace these. I might make that a little window right there. I have to see. But when they're all done, I'm going to trace them in, uh, I don't know whether I'll use uh, black or brown, or I don't even know. Maybe, I don't even know. But I'm going to, like, you know, make them stand out a bit and decorate all these. I like to, I want to also, like, I don't know which one I'll do. Maybe this one. Maybe, like, hang some stars or hearts or something down from there. I don't know yet. I'm just all over the place thinking. But I wanted to do the next part. I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, I love watching you guys, your videos and all that kind of stuff. You guys are really rocking out. So many great things. Oh, just wonderful. I love it. I haven't been on the computer in a couple days really watching anything, but um, I started again today to catch up on stuff. I'm so behind on everything. So, um, you know. So now I want to decide. Let me decide what. I'll just do this roof since I want to wait for this all to dry. Maybe I'll do the roof black and then white stripes. Which is going to, well, it's not going to matter because if it's black. Hmm. Maybe I'll do pink, like a bright pink with black polka dots. Maybe I'll do that. So that'll wait till next time. But that's it. That's just kind of where I'm at. So like I said, you guys can use this. You guys can make 
fancy, you know, uh, roofs or whatever you want. This is just the basic, you know, this is going to change completely the more we go along with it. Um, but it's yours. You want to put a tree in it, put a tree in it. You want to put six trees in it, do it. You want to have fairies right, riding around, do it. That's what I say. Just do it. And that's about it. That's all today with this. I'm not going to keep you forever. However, I am so thankful to all of you. You guys are so fantastic, so supportive, so wonderful. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. Uh, the contest, I believe, ends tomorrow. i got to double check. Um, so I'll be keeping an eye out for a video with the winner. And I want to thank everybody who has um, entered. You still There's still time to enter. Uh, and even if you only can enter once, that's, you know, once will win you. So, you know, you never know. So that's it. So I will see you guys later. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.